Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, wanted to let you know that this video, the one right here, this is the year of perseverance. That was over 24 hours just to upload that video. Hey, Google, I see you. Just want to let you guys know so that you'll be aware of. Uh, it says January 22nd as the upload date, but if you will kindly hold on a second, let me see if it'll let me do it. That's what I'm trying to do right there. Click on that little, you want to see a little pencil, the little, little so that you can draw. It's an editing tool. 12 29 2021 is when the video was done. Over 24 hours to upload that video. Amazing! To the tribute to the late John Madden. I haven't actually heard the official report that John Madden passed, but I've heard several people tell me that John Madden passed. And I told people, John Madden, that man was known for one thing. John Madden was Mr. Obvious, because he said things like, hey, if he had not run all the way down the field the way he did, he wouldn't have scored that touchdown. You know, if the quarterback wouldn't have dropped the ball, uh, they wouldn't have lost that down. <laughs> had he gone two more inches, he would have scored a first down. That was John Madden. And you gotta love him. I'm sorry, John Madden was John Madden. Nobody else could have done it the way he did it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, um... I do realize something, and I'm going to go back to the part of the site that you all don't get to see. I refer to it as the back end because that's exactly what it is. Okay, it's the rear end of the site. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a lot of time. There is 53, so that's an hour. Then that's another two hours, three hours right there. That's just three hours and four videos, plus another hour. Okay, six videos, plus another hour. Okay, plus another two hours. Got to add that one. Okay, there's a lot of talking and a lot of discussion being done on a lot of these videos. We are showing you information, not just talking. I, I, I've watched so many videos where the person is just talking and talking and talking and not showing you anything okay by the way this young man right here uh joe i think it's mora don't i forgot the last name murphy no it's not murphy murray murray uh joe the one who went to the bank just to cash a check and got put in handcuffs because he was trying to cash his check at his bank um he got justice he got a settlement and the manager of the bank got fired so, and he brought awareness to the fact that slavery and racism has not disappeared in this country. So, again, we cover a lot of things. Uh, we even covered the judge who decided that she was going to, ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand what's going on here. The judge Somebody in her house recorded the conversation of them talking about the individual. So somebody didn't appreciate her. Let me explain to you how I understand this because I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses and my meeting at the Kingdom Hall on Zoom starts in less than 15 minutes. So I don't have a lot of time, but let me explain. I've talked about it in video and, and this is not to talk bad about anybody including Miss Jenkins, who I'm going to talk about right now, because don't you dare say nothing bad about Miss Jenkins, because you might get shanked, okay? When I was growing up, my mother always taught us to respect everyone. Doesn't matter what the color is. My father was the same way. As a matter of fact, my father was a carpet layer, and he laid a lot of carpet in Beverly Hills and places like that. And so we went to one house in Beverly Hills for my father to lay carpet. He worked for himself. On to Prahor. Okay, well, my father went to this one place, and there was this young man, this young kid, a white boy. And he said, hey, you play chess? I said, no, I don't know what that is. He says, come on, let me show you. That's 
how my father taught us to interact. I didn't look at this kid as if he was a different color to me. The kid wanted to play chess. I was there by myself. Nobody else was there. My brothers and sisters weren't there. It was just me and my pops and carpet laying. And I and this little kid went to play and he showed me and I did the best I could because I didn't understand the game at the time. I'm a beast on that board now. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's how my family, my mother, taught us. We, if there was somebody who needed a place to stay and they were a friend, my mother let them stay at our house without hesitation. Relatives got to stay at our house. We didn't have no room. It was eight of us in a two bedroom home. And we took in my uncle and his wife and his three kids. Three kids, people. Y'all don't understand. A two bedroom? A two bedroom? Pay attention. A two bedroom with 13 people. 13 people in a two bedroom. Y'all have no idea. Well, anyway, growing up, when we moved to our four bedroom apartment, we had been there for about a half a year. And then we had some neighbors. You know how in a neighborhood, especially in the project, somebody new move in? Everybody's staring out the window at the new people. Well, my family was staring at the new people. And so I came down the stairs because that's not me. I'm not the guy who goes, I'm not a looky-loo. I don't care about what's going on. I never have. I'm not going to break my neck to go see what's going on down the street. What, there's a shooting? Okay, well, when, when it's over, what, then y'all come get me. I don't want to go see nobody shooting nobody because then I'll be looking right at a bullet because eventually a bullet's going to come somebody's way and somebody's going to see it coming. Or they didn't see, man, he didn't see that coming. And so the family moved in. The young man's name was Gabriel. He was the son. They had a daughter. I, I don't remember her name. Sorry. I remember Gabriel because Gabriel and I remained friends until I left the neighborhood. Um, but they didn't speak a lick of English. And ladies and gentlemen, my father was passed. He was deceased at this time. But my mother and my brothers and sisters were talking about the Hispanic people. And I looked at her like she was crazy. I said, woman? I didn't say woman at that time. I didn't start calling my mother woman until I got 19, 20 years old. But I'm like, wait a minute. You've always taught us that people's skin color doesn't matter. That their race doesn't matter. And here you are talking about them? I said, shame on you. And that, that was my, that's my phrase, ladies and gentlemen, shame on you. I even say that to judges to this very day. Shame on you. Because you should know better. And I opened up the door, walked right across the yard because there was a open field between our apartment and that apartment. About 60 feet. And I walked all the way over there and I introduced myself to them and shook everybody's hand. And then I told them to have a nice day. I went back to my house, looked at my mother, my brothers and sisters, and went on back to my business. And I made it a point to say hello to that family at every turn. Why? Not because my mother was a racist. No, but because my mother was repeating things, other people in the neighborhood, other stereotypic stupidity that other people in the neighborhood was repeating. And she knew better. You see, that's why the number one rule at SACOM is you're not allowed to talk about people behind their back. You're not allowed to criticize another member of the organization. That's the number one rule. I have not changed, people. Now, mind you, I don't remember my childhood, but I do remember that incident. I can't tell you everything that happened in that moment, just like what I was doing before that, or what was going on, or what was said after that. I can't tell you that because I don't remember. But I do remember that incident. Why? Because... It was significant. Racism still exists in this country. Any of you who claim it does not, and I don't care what excuse you make, well, it doesn't, it, 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 you can do all of that huffing and puffing and you can blow down as many chinny chin chins as you want because that shows your ignorance. 
the moment you make up an excuse, because there is no reason, the moment you make up an excuse, the moment you say something contrary to somebody saying that racism exists in this country and others, then that shows your level of ignorance. I'm just telling you the way it is. You can disagree with me, again, your level of ignorance. See, you can't disagree with a fact. A fact stands on its own footing. It doesn't need your support. And the first thing, when somebody says something that you feel you can argue with, then you want to voice an opinion. Okay? I, I, I like UTFO when they said, how dare you voice your opinion? Skeezer snatcher, big disease catcher, gonna gonna get you, get you, get you, gotcha. Don't blame it on your father. You told me that you love him. Blame it on your mother, all five of them. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, basically what I'm trying to say is we don't just talk about one thing on this channel. We talk about a variety of things. I don't do a lot of talking about COVID, but as I told all of you, you do need to pay attention. Marburg virus is nothing but another form of Ebola. Do the research. It's in China now. They claim it's a seasonal thing. What the? I'm sorry, apologize. <laughs> they say it's seasonal. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's there along with the Omicron. You know, the Omega of all viruses. That's what's about to happen. Now, don't take my word for it. Just sit back and watch. UTFO sang a song <laughs> called Just Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, just watch. Just sit back and watch and see how bad this is going to get. Start stocking up, okay, because you know you ain't going to be able to go to no store. That's what's going on in China now, and the people are talking about running out of supplies. Stock up, people. Stock up, people. <sighs> Stock up on the essential supplies now. This is the beginning of the month. You have the funds. You just paid your rent. Stock up. I know some of you ain't paid it because you, 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 you do that. You want to wait till the last minute because you decided you wanted to celebrate Christmas instead of getting all that stuff in June and July. You wanted to wait until November, December to get it. And thus you paid more, but you think you paid less. Shh, don't tell nobody. That's the game, don't you understand? When they claim they're offering you discounts, they're not offering you discounts. They're not marking anything down, ladies and gentlemen. They're reporting the discount as a loss on their taxes, and they're getting paid for that. You really must understand the game. At SATCOM, we are putting things together, but ladies and gentlemen, I can't explain the game to everybody someone told me yesterday he says but you need to tell this to other people so that if something happens to you it doesn't die with you and i'm like i don't need to tell it to other people because everybody should know this already i didn't say that to the person but that's what i'm thinking what i'm saying it's not hidden i'm putting the information out there i'm telling it to people and still i'm getting people questioning me i had somebody call me yesterday about a video i just did and the questions, the things the person was asking, I told him straight up, you didn't listen to the video. Because I know I covered that. I know I said that specifically. It is impossible for you not to have heard that. Because that was the main point of the video. I'm going to have a heart attack pretty soon. You already had a heart attack. Didn't you already have two heart attacks? Massive and a minor? Okay, so you already had a heart attack. Oh, you don't have another one. A massive and a minor at the same time? Oh, lordy! Ladies and gentlemen, it is not difficult being me. What's difficult is knowing that I am deteriorating mentally. Oh, my God! He admitted it! He admitted he's going out of his mind! Oh, my stars! That boy's so crazy! He's a... Oh, you're sitting right there. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I didn't mean this. Did I say that out loud? Oh. <laughs> No, I was trying to use my inner voice. Oh, you go. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Oh, no, you're not a violent person. See, that's what I have to deal with. <laughs> you sound crazy. You know that, right? 
Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it takes a fool to learn. That's my spinners. And it does take a fool to learn. So why don't all of you make fools of yourself? Sit down, listen, take notes, learn. Start a business. Start a business. I gave you seven videos. Seven videos. Let's do it so that you guys will see it. I had one person email me today and say, thanks for the education. He says, I'm now starting to get it. Okay. This is, this is the eighth video. I would really pay attention to that one. So eight videos, one, two, three, four, five, six, especially that one, seven, and eight. You can even do this one for number nine. Ladies and gentlemen, we're putting on our website copies of petitions that you can use. All you have to do is amend them. Many of you, well, I don't know how to do this and I don't know how to do that. We're showing it to you. We're just not going to do everything for you. People are calling SACOM 1 and SACOM to explain everything to them. That's not how it rolls. That's not how it rocks. That's not how it goes. Please stop doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just driving yourself crazy. Because, ladies and gentlemen, real quickly, SACOM is not an official trust organization. In order to be an official trust organization, you have to have an attorney. So we cannot talk about certain things respecting trust. Also, we cannot talk about certain things respecting trust because it's non-disclosure agreement time but we put everything about trust on our website. Everything. You don't have to go and search no other site. All you gotta do is click on the black button at the top of the window. And you got everything you need to know. You can start your own trust. You can write your own trust saying whatever the, you want your trust to say. That's what you could do. So please, don't think that SACOM is not doing something for you. SACOM is not taking care of something for you. We done gave you more than what you ever could have expected from us. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to us here today. And I want to say, have a Coke and a smile, and we'll see y'all next time on the next go around. Gotta go.